Uh, get out of there! Oh! No! Oh, man, I thought I, I... Okay. Hey, guys, how's it going? My name is Neil, and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In today's episode, we are back with the Hyper Bolide. Only in this episode, we are not going to be taking flight. No sorry, Bob. We are going to be piloting the Assault police vehicle. Now, it's just a normal bolide on the outside, maybe some nice off-road tires. It's a little bit lifted, but it has a secret weapon. If I am to push the M button, you will see a giant Gatlin gun pop out, which is functional, by the way. Some real James Bond stuff going on here. So, what we're going to do is do a couple police chases on the endless highway here, and then maybe go out into the real world and test this thing in a real world scenario. I don't know what world we would need to just absolutely turn the bad guy into Swiss cheese, but I'm sure we can think of something. If you guys would like to see more of the Hyper Bolide Assault Police Car in the future, let me know down below in the comments and make sure to hit that like button as well. All right, so with that, let's send the bad guy on his way and uh, see what we can get into here. Uh, the only problem I've noticed is that the uh, the gun button is linked to the same button as the light. So unfortunately, we won't have any uh, uh, sirens going today, but that's okay. I think we get the point. When you have a giant machine gun pointing at you, I think you get the picture that you might want to pull over. Anyway, let's go to the AI, set this guy to flee, and get this on. All right, here we go. And even with <laughs> we even have a little, uh, little sights here, a little reticle, reticule here. Oh, man, that is so cool. So I'm just going to let this guy kind of coast for a minute. Give him a chance to pull over. Come on, buddy. You might want to pull over. I, I will turn you into Swiss cheese. Don't think that I won't. All right, you know, I don't think he's going to pull over. So we're just going to go ahead and give him a warning shot here. <laughs> Already busted up his back door there. All right, he's still not stopping. Let's just unload on him. Here we go. Yeah! Oh, he's on fire. I think I might have hit the gas tank. Yeah, I did. Oh, man. So now he's a burning, flaming car. Just... <laughs> I ripped one of his doors off, too. Let's see if we can get one of his tires here. Oh! He's still going! Is there even anybody driving this car? Oh! Shredding it. Okay, look out for debris. Uh-oh, he's losing it. He's losing it. Shoot it to the front. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. There we go. Come on. I'm just gonna keep unloading. He's still going. There goes the door. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. How many bullets can he take? Come on. Keep going. How many bullets do I have? Is it infinite? Oh no, I ran out. Oh, good. Excuse me. I have the hiccups, guys. Good God. Look at what's left of his. <laughs> we have completely destroyed this poor ETK. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm out of bullets. But I would say that is a job well done. If there was anybody in that car, they are now officially Swiss cheese. All right, so let's go for a little bit of a bigger target here. Hold up, buddy. Stop, stop, stop. Let's go for a little bit of a bigger target here. I'm thinking some sort of uh, semi because I want to go for gold here. I want to see... Uh, what's the biggest vehicle I can actually take down with this? So we're going to go for the MAN TGS, uh, the big farmer truck. You guys know it's a fantastic mod. I think it's actually going to be released pretty soon. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, can we take down the MAN or the man? I don't know. I like saying man better. I don't know why. Anyway, let's set him to flee. No, I screwed that up. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay. Reset him. And now we set the AI to flee. You would think I would uh, I would know how to do this after, what is it, five years of doing this? I Apparently not. Anyway, set him to flee. There he goes. And we're going to need to use our bullets very precisely here because we, we can run out of bullets, and that is a big, big vehicle. So we need to be careful here. I want to aim for the gas tank specifically. I don't know if it actually slows them down, but it does put on a good show. So I wish I could kind of turn the gun a little bit and not have to aim into it. Oh, that was a pretty good shot, though. Well, let's try that again. Where did I actually hit? I think I hit, like, the back 
panel there or something? Or let's aim ahead a little bit. <laughs> that is so freaking cool, man. Let's just lay into him for a second. Oh my god. I think I hit one of the tires. Yeah, one of the tires just straight up fell off, man. There goes a the door. <laughs> oh, there's just so many pieces. There goes one of the tanks. Something is scraping the ground here. Come on, come on. Eh. Come on, come on. Maybe I need to drive straight out and play a game of chicken here. It might be the best course of action, actually. Just keep shooting him for a second. Man, it doesn't seem like it's really doing anything now. After it kind of rips off all the pieces. I know it went straight through the truck, though, because the front bumper is uh, starting to fall off. So some of the bolts did penetrate. All right. Come on. Let's get a better camera angle here. There we go. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be running out of bullets. And there goes the front bumper. Uh-oh. That almost hit me, actually. Eh. Why won't these pop tires, man? What's the point of bullets if you can't pop any tires with it? I guess that's what the drag, or not the drag strip, the spike strips are for. But uh, still, I feel like bullets would do a little bit better of a job. All right, you know what? I'm going to go straight ahead, way ahead here. And we're going to go head on against this guy just to see what happens. So, all right, this is probably good. Let's slow down. Turn this thing around as quick as we can here. Oh. No! <laughs> Dang it, I guess he was going faster than I thought. Crap. It's only a couple shots. Maybe I, maybe I can hit him from back here. I wish I could at least aim this thing up so I could aim towards the cabin, you know? But uh, yeah, he's still moving pretty fast here. 150 miles an hour. I'll just keep laying it in. Come on. No, oh, no, I'm out. All right, last ditch effort. The guns didn't work, so we're just gonna have to throw ourselves in the line, the line of fire here. Ooh, nice! I think we just successfully pit maneuvered a semi. Oh nope, he's gonna keep going. <laughs> because of course he is. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. How are you still moving, man? Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> this is our life now, I guess. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, this didn't work. Uh, I mean, we, we pretty thoroughly shredded the truck, but it just was not enough to actually take down the beast. But I'm going to try an even bigger vehicle because I am a crazy man, but I think it might actually work because I'm going to replace this with the city bus, the Wentward, and uh, because the engine is actually in the back of the thing, maybe I can just shoot a bunch of bullets into the engine and maybe stop it. I don't know. That's, that's what I'm thinking here. I don't know if that's actually going to work. But uh, we're going to try it. So we're going to replace this with the big old city bus. And uh, we're just going to we're just gonna go ape shit on it, basically. I think it's going to be good. All right, so here we go. Uh, AI. Why is this not working? AI. Flee. And he's off. All right, so I could probably give him a minute just because he's going to be very, very slow. Just to, I'm just going to let him get up to speed. I don't even know what the, the top speed of the regular bus is. Probably like 60 miles an hour. It can't be that fast, can it? It can't be. Anyway, let's just, cut, let's just shoot a couple bullets in here, see if it'll do anything. It's creating fire, but it's not really... Oh, there's a hole. It's not really doing that much, honestly. I mean, it kind of broke the sign on the back. Maybe a little bit of a dent, but besides that, really? Don't tell me the bus is bulletproof. Oh, there went a door. <laughs> <laughs> and, yep. Keep shooting it. There goes another panel. I need the back panel to be gone. Though. There we go. There's the engine right there, the heart of the beast. So let's just fire directly into this thing. Is it even doing anything to the engine? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think this assault vehicle works better on normal civilian cars. But it's still pretty cool. Let's just shoot all we got into this guy. You know what? I might actually be able to drive pretty far ahead and play a little game of uh, chicken here. Just got to make sure I get far enough away. Where is he? How far away is he? I need to get pretty far up here. You think this is good? We're pretty far ahead now. All right, you know what? I'm going to do it. Slow down, slow down, slow down. 
All right, yeah, we should be able to do it this time. I just got to make sure I don't sandwich myself here. All right, let's start firing. Ooh, get out of there! Oh! No! <laughs> oh, man, I thought I... I okay. I guess my reflexes are not as cat-like as I thought. Is he gonna keep going? That had to hurt quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we uh, we messed him up pretty good, but you know what? He's gonna keep going. <laughs> Definitely gonna keep going. All right. All right, let's go back to uh, some normal vehicles here, some somewhat normal vehicles. Um, I'm gonna spawn up a car that has just a ton of parts because I just want to see all the parts fall off of it So we're gonna go with the off-road barstow here one of my favorite vehicles in the game If you didn't know definitely check it out if you haven't before Uh, but yeah, we're gonna spawn this up because it does have a ton of freaking pieces in it And I think it'll be perfect for this. All righty. There we go. So let's go to AI and flee now This is a pretty quick car, so we need to be quick, but we do have a um a Covette here, so or not a Covette. What is this car? What is this car's name? Bolide. Yeah. Pff, duh. I couldn't remember for some reason. Anyway, yeah, this is a pretty quick car, so we should have no problems at all. Oh! Already lots of pieces coming off. <laughs> and bloop, 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 bloop. keep shooting. Keep shooting. Oh! More pieces falling off. Oh! I gotta like constantly avoid all the debris coming off this thing. Keep shooting. Keep shooting, champ. Why does he keep slowing down? <laughs> Look at me just shredding this car right now. Kind of like this cinematic cam. How is he still going? I'm just laying into him right now. Why am I? Wait, why am I on fire? Was that debris from him? I don't know. He's still going though. Uh oh. Oh! He <laughs> disconnected the back of his car. All right, you're going in, man. I think that's enough out of you. Yeah, we uh, shredded him. Look at all that fire. I don't know how he's still going. Yeah, you need you need to stop, brother. You need to stop. All right, so let's take this thing out into the real world and see how she performs. Now, I think we're gonna go to good old West Coast USA. Perfect. For police chases. All right, guys, here's the setup. Uh, we got a Ford GT, or not a Ford GT, a Ford Mustang GT here, and we're gonna pretend that he uh, uh, was driving out of a Cars and Coffee and ran over two people. So that's why we're gonna be chasing him down to the fullest extent of the law with our machine gun here. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Sorry to uh, Mustang owners, but it does seem to happen a lot. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna set him to flee And oh, yeah, this should be a good chase if he doesn't crash himself because that's a pretty fast car right there, so Ooh, Couple warning shots pull over man Pull over. He's gonna crash. He's gonna crash if he's not careful Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, okay, okay. He handle it. He handle it. Okay. Okay. I see you Let's shoot him a couple times <laughs> Rip his door off. Oh man, we're already shredding that poor Mustang. Eh. Wow. Was that all it took? Was that all it took? Oh, he's coming towards me. Keep shooting. Keep shooting. He's still going. He's got heart. He's got determination. I'll give him that. But we're just going to have to keep shooting. <laughs> and that's about all she wrote. Wow. I think you're finished, Mustang. I think you're finished. You can try to, if you can keep going after I'm done with this like hailstorm of bullets here, then you know what? You're, you're free to go. Man, yeah, he's not going anywhere. So we're just gonna go, go ahead and take you downtown. There we go. All right, so maybe we need something a little bit more armored than a Mustang. I feel like that was too easy. No, no, you're not going anywhere, man. So what else do we have? Maybe like a like an H series. I'm feeling like an H series might be a little bit tougher to take down here. So what do we actually have? Uh, maybe a tasty cold. Ooh, you know what? Maybe an RV. RV on, is on the run <laughs> for smuggling drugs or something. I don't know. But uh, this should be quite fun to tear to beat to bits. So 
Let's set him to AI and flee. And he's off! And let's pull out the gun here. There we go. I feel like this thing's just gonna get absolutely ripped to shreds by our gun here. Yep! Oh! And there goes the RV bit. <laughs> just kinda banana peel. Wait, what's happening? What am I running over? No, 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 not like this. Not like this, okay. Something was obviously broken there. So, let's respawn here. And why is my car doing this? Am I running over debris from his car? That's actually, it's, he's basically making spike strips for himself by peeling away bits of his car here. Let's keep shooting though. Oh man, yeah, that just absolutely shredded. All right, keep it up, keep it, oh, he ran into the tree, oh! <laughs> well, oh man, yeah, I don't even know what's happening with him. Let's go to the front, give the front some love here. Looks like it's already uh, fairly well destroyed already, but you know, it's okay. Just keep shooting it. Yeah, um, <laughs> I think he's done. I think he's uh, eviscerated, basically. All right, guys, so let's get it in for this episode of Beam in G Drive. If you'd like to download this mod, I will have it down below. Highly recommend, fantastic mod. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos on the channel, uh, let me know down below in the comments or in my Discord server. I have a uh, suggestions tab in there. So if you haven't joined Neil and the Logicals yet, you might want to do it. It's a great time. Anyway, that's going to do it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya. You break.